the graveyard. You wouldn't catch me digging graves in my yard. Spoils the ambience. I sense Zarok is very close by. Maybe at Cemetery Hill, which lies just beyond this graveyard. You need better sword. Yours is as much use as woolen bucket. Welcome back to Galomir, Daniel. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living. Have courage. These are truly strange and terrifying times. Blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Now get out of here. You're blocking my view. Ah, real shiny stubby sword. Let's try it out. You can light it, or hey, maybe just club stuff real hard. These fountains give health, but like good milk at bachelor party, they don't last forever. Hello, stranger! What can I sell you today? A nice bit of schmatter? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Proper night now. The Hall of Heroes, where heroes are allowed to store their umbrellas and raincoats. Welcome, O oh undernourished one, to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, arm wrestling, and singing out of tune. If they think you're worthy, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. In your case, you'll be lucky to walk away with a spud gun. Now move it, Twiggy. <coughs> Captain Fortescue, does the battle go well? <coughs> A temperate setback, I'm sure, sire. Gosh, they were merry times, slapping our thighs, downing beakers of bitter shandy, and the battles, ooh, they were fun too. How I wish I could help you in some way now. Mm -hmm. But hold, oh, you could take my crossbow. I used it at the Battle of Gallomere. After you were slain, I shot Zarok's champion, Lord Cardock, a clean kill, sir! Right through the eye, at some 300 yards! Hmm... Uh, not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. Hmm... 